Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and I hope that you're all enjoying the brand new season 4 content that I'm putting out on the channel. Not only that, but enjoying season 4 in general. It's amazing. Epic Games have done absolutely brilliant work with this one and they have made me very, very happy with the season battle pass. It was absolutely outstanding. Uh, but anyway, as usual, when weeks go by on the season battle passes, we can actually expect to find more and more skins come onto the actual store itself. And these are skins that you have to pay for using the V-Bucks, which is the in-game currency. Now, as usual, guys, there has been some leaks in the in-game files and uh, yeah, today's video, we're actually me going over a couple of them and showing you pretty much everything that you can expect in the next two weeks coming to Fortnite Battle Royale's in-game store. Now before we do get into the video guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, all of that kind of stuff, including the Season 4 giveaway and a couple of V-Bucks giveaways when I can afford them later on through the month. Uh, but anyway, like I said, let's get into talking about these brand new cosmetics found by Stormshield1 in the in-game files. So firstly, we're actually going to start off with a brand new skin. It is a male variant of a two-set skin. And this is called Light Show. It is going to be on screen right now. And as you can see, it is the male character with all of this neon paint painted onto his body. It looks very, very awesome. I really like this design. I love all of the colors. And I like the way they've made the actual character darker too. And kind of colored their hair in. It just kind of makes it look really cool. I like it. And I love the glasses too with the kind of X on their face. I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. It actually reminds me if any of you guys have ever played Gears of War, uh, basically one of the skins that you could unlock in Gears of War 4 was very similar to this. And Gears of War 4 was actually made by Epic. So this is kind of like a nice little nod to the actual skins from that game. I don't know, I really like it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, as I said, there is a two-part set to this, and this is going to be a female character, and uh, she is on screen right now, and she is actually called Nightlight. And as you can see, uh, she is the exact same, except she's less more zigzaggy, but she's more kind of floral, you know? You can kind of see those nice wavy patterns on her chest. She looks pretty cool. They've also made hair darker too and gave her these awesome Kanye West looking shades. I don't know if any of you guys remember, but when those shades first came about, I believe like Kanye West was the one to make them popular and uh, everyone went crazy to get a pair of those. I really like that they've added this into the game. I think it looks really cool and it is definitely a skin I'm going to buy. And it's not because it just looks awesome or anything like that. It's actually because the price of it is actually going to be very, very cheap. Now, we actually know that the, uh, I guess, the rarity of these two items are going to be uncommon. So, I believe that's like, yeah, the most cheapest, I think. Yeah, I think that's the cheapest skins that you can get. So, uh, yeah, uncommon skins, you can expect to see them in the next couple of weeks in the in-game store. Now, once again, we do have another pair of skins that are pre pretty much like a female and male variant. These ones are pretty cool. I do like them, although I don't know whether I'm actually going to buy one of them. Uh, but the first one that we're going to be looking at is on screen right now and it is the chromium one as you can see it is a female and she kind of looks like colossus from the x-men she looks really really cool she's got that kind of metallic skin with yellow eyes and she's also got that kind of army print jeans and uh, yeah also the kind of yellow and green combo on her top with the red hair i really like this i think it's really cool the way they finally added in a kind of robot looking character or you never know, these could actually be robots, you never really know. But yeah, I think it's really cool that they added these in. I really like the female variant, and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the male variant uh, right now on screen. And as you can see, it is just the male variant character. Same exact skin, same eyes, except he's wearing a beret. And he's also got the kind of same color scheme going on, the green and yellow. And uh, yeah, I think these two look pretty badass, to be honest. And uh, like I said, I don't know whether I'm going to buy them, because... Again, there's nothing really truly spectacular about them. It just kind of looks like a normal reskin. Um, pretty much the same as the other two, really. But I don't know. I like the other two a little bit more. Uh, but the ones that you see on screen uh, just a second ago, they're actually going to be rare. So yeah, if you want the pricing for them, they are going to be rare item skins 
in the item shop sometime in the next two weeks. Now we're moving on to the epic skins that you're gonna see in the next couple of weeks and the first one is on screen right now and as you can see it is the male variant of the kind of spray paint graffiti girl. I can't remember her name exactly uh, but yeah the, the, this is a male variant of that woman anyway and as you can see he looks pretty cool. He looks very street. He's got the paint on his kind of top. He's got the gas mask on to kind of protect him from the aerosol kind of smell and everything like that and he's also got a tilted towers cap on too which I thought was a nice little attention to detail right there. This character is actually going to be called Abstract and uh, he is going to be an epic variant skin so he might be a little bit more uh, and I believe that's actually because he has a backpack full of kind of like, uh, I guess it's like, uh, yeah, spray paint cans and everything like that. So he is actually going to have a back bling that I'll be showing off a little bit later on in the video when we get to the back bling part. Uh, but moving on from that, we do have an, uh, another kind of epic skin, and this is called Trailblazer. Really, to me, I don't understand why this character is an epic skin, to be honest. She looks very basic, and I don't know, she just kind of looks very, very normal, in my opinion. I just don't see the big thing about this. Uh, but anyway, this character is actually the second variant of, I believe, the level 70 skin that you get that kind of looks a little bit like Thor, you know, with the eye patch on and everything. Yeah, this is going to be the one that complements that. As you can see, she has the same kind of armor on, she has the same kind of tattoos on her body, on her neck and everything. She looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie, but still, I don't think that this skin is actually worth, uh, you know, whatever the epic price is for skins. Uh, so I'm gonna definitely take a miss on these two, because I'm not really a big fan. Now we've got one last skin to actually go by, and then we're gonna move on to the pickaxes. This one is actually called the Royal Bomber, <laughs> Royal Bomber, and uh, this is an epic variant, and he is on screen right now. And I believe that I saw somebody actually post online that this dude right here is actually meant to be, uh, I, I think Sylvester Stallone out of the, uh, I guess it's the Untouchables or something like that. I can't remember the series because I really didn't like it. It was the one with like Jason Statham in, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Bruce Willis at one point, all of those big star cast characters, you know, uh, but anyway, this one in particular is actually meant to be modeled after him from that movie. He looks pretty cool, to be honest. I like the blue, and uh, I'm gonna have to wait until I see what the full body version of him looks like before I actually purchase him, uh, but anyway, let's move on to the pickaxes that we're gonna see in the item shop sometime in the next couple of months, and uh, yeah, the first one is on screen right now, and this one is called the Glow Stick. This is going to be a rare variant of, a, I guess, pickaxe and it looks kind of cool I guess it looks very basic in my opinion it's just got two blades on the sides uh, and what I'm assuming is because it's called glow stick it actually will glow uh, when with like with those neon pipes it's actually got like neon pipes on the top of it I don't know if you can see that properly or you did uh, but anyway yeah that will most likely glow or maybe even glow when you hit it too so that's actually pretty cool but once again it's a skin or you know a pickaxe that I'm not going to be buying uh, let's move on to the other couple of ones. This one is called the Tenderizer, and it is on screen right now. And as you can see, it is kind of like a mix of all different things. It's got like a pickaxe at the back of it. It's also got like a meat masher kind of thing on the front. And at the bottom, it's got a crowbar attached to it. I kind of like the design of this, to be honest, but I don't think that I'm going to be buying it. Only because... I like my unicorn pickaxe, I think that's really cool, but uh, you know, there is a couple of people who will most likely buy this in the future. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next one, which is actually called the Renegades Roller, and it is on screen right now. This is an epic variant, and it looks very, very cool. It's actually a paint roller with a crowbar attached to the bottom. I don't know what the big deal is here about attaching crowbars to things, but... I don't know. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, I don't know whether I'm gonna buy this, but I can imagine that a lot of people will buy this to go with the, uh, I guess, the abstract and the other female kind of uh, set, I guess. Now this last pickaxe is actually the last of them, and then we're gonna move on to the gliders. This one is called the Persuader pickaxe, I believe, and it is on screen right now. This is a rare variant, and it just kind of looks like a load of nukes, you know, like the way you see like a kind of nuke launcher or something like that. It kind of looks like that, or a missile launcher attached to a stick, to be honest. I mean, it looks pretty cool. 
I'm not gonna buy it personally, but you know, I think a lot of people will like this uh, will like this pickaxe, especially if it makes some kind of cool noise or kind of effect when you hit at it or something like that. Maybe like tiny little explosions or something. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, that is the last of the pickaxes. We're now gonna move on to the new gliders coming to the store in the next couple of weeks, and uh, we're gonna start off with the first one, which is the Glow Rider. I like the way they did that, Low Rider. You know, Glow Rider. Uh, but anyway, it is actually to complement the glowing skins that we actually started with at the start of this video. It looks pretty cool, you know, very basic. This is going to be an uncommon glider, so there's nothing going to be much great about it, I guess. There's not going to be any kind of way it opens up or anything or, you know, something like that. It's just going to be a basic looking glider. So yeah, looks pretty cool. I like the colors, but I'm not going to buy it. The next one that we're going to move on to is the Steadfast, or the Steadfast, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. But this is called uh, the Steadfast. It is going to be an uncommon one. And uh, judging by the way it looks, that is going to be a very basic glider indeed. It's just got a kind of star at the top and everything. That's pretty much it. There's nothing really too special about that. And again, we do have a brand new glider, uh, which is very similar to that, actually called the Solid Strider. And it is on screen right now. And as you can see, this one goes with the metal kind of people. It is an uncommon, and again, nothing much to say. It just looks like a brand new glider that looks very, very basic. Now that we've done the gliders, we're going to be moving on to the uh, awesome back blings. I actually like this back bling, the one on screen right now. This is actually called the tea bag, which I really, really like. And uh, yeah, this is going to be an epic variant that you get with the, uh, I guess, the graffiti artist male variant. Uh, as you can see, it has the spray paint cans at the back. It has a kind of a holder for your tea or something, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. And also, it does have a kind of gas mask to protect you from the gas from the aerosols. So that's actually pretty cool. I really like that back bling. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the last back bling that we're gonna be seeing in the first couple of weeks. So this back bling is actually very basic again, but for some reason it is an epic variant. It is called the True North, and I believe this is probably going to be coming free with one of the characters, maybe, the fe maybe like the female variant, the Trailblazer one. It, it looks like it would be with her, to be honest. So yeah, nothing really much to talk about. It's just a basic back bling, and it looks kind of, you know, like every other kind of army back bling. Uh, but what we're going to do is very quickly, we're going to move on to the new emotes coming to the game. Uh, the first one is on screen right now, and uh, this one is called Freestyling. We don't really know whether this is going to be a... Uh, I don't think we know the colours uh, of the rarities of these right now, so I'm not 100% sure. But I can imagine that this one would be a purple variant. It is on screen right now, of course. It says Freestyling. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one, which is Boneless. And uh, this one is actually uh, a popular meme. You guys would have maybe seen it. If you just type in Boneless meme or something like that, you will find it to actually show you guys what it looks like. Uh, other than that, we're going to move on. We've got one called Chicken. And this is one where you would most likely run around kind of flapping your arms like, you know, calling somebody a chicken. I really like that one. It reminds me of Back to the Future. So I'm definitely going to buy, be buying that. And uh, the last two ones that we're going to be seeing is the one called Thumbs Down. As you can see, it's got the guy kind of pointing down. And also one called Thumbs Up with him pointing up. Uh, personally, I don't like those last two. I think they're really bad. But, you know, whatever. Everybody will probably buy them or, you know, some people buy them anyway. Uh, but anyway, guys, that has pretty much been it for today's video. I didn't mean it for it to go on for this long. But, uh, yeah, I do apologize about that. But, uh, yeah, still, thank you very much for watching today's video. Enjoy the brand new emotes and all of the new stuff coming to the season store uh, throughout this season. And, uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.